not a lot of conversation about the really beautiful parts of men. A side of their money, a side of their <laughs> things that we are attracted to that don't get a lot of attention. And I know a lot of men are not going to listen to me or believe me, but when I tell you these attributes are so sexy. Number one is vulnerability. When a man can be honest about the trials and tribulations of life, how it made him feel, what he learned from it, how he grew, how he found resilience, how he's changed over time, and honestly and authentically articulate these things to his partner, to his friend, to his therapist, it is so fucking sexy. Unfortunately, a lot of men think that it's best to be a macho man, don't cry, blah, blah, blah. That is what other men are telling you to be. But what are the women saying? The women are saying, tell us, talk to us, confide in us. We want to help you. We want to get to know the real you. How can we really connect if you don't let me in? Next thing that I find, mwah, chef's kiss, decisiveness. It is so sexy when a man can just make a decision. It's not about how quickly he makes a decision. It's about how he thought about it thoroughly. He weighed the options. He looked at the pros and cons and he made the best decision for the moment. And once he has made up his mind, it's made. If that ain't masculine energy, I don't know what is, baby. The next thing is a man who cares about others. I always wondered why I had such a strong attraction to Malcolm X and revolutionaries. And it's because they dedicated their life to helping others. It's so selfless and it's so sexy. A lot of men are inherently selfish. So when you meet a man who actually wants to make the world a better place and puts action behind it, oh, oh child, I'm ready to cook a Thanksgiving dinner every day of the week. Mm -mm. Last one, I actually asked my mother the other day, what trait would you say is really important in a husband? And she said, a man who is slow to anger, a man that is not reactionary, a man that can sit in his calm, who can let a wave of emotion pass. It's not that we all don't get triggered, but when you understand that your trigger is a feeling and you can sit with it, you can understand where it comes from and you can decide how to act. It's giving man, it's giving husband.